Now then, my friends, good morning. Wow. Uh, do you know what? I actually am honoured because I am with a local legend. I can't believe it. We've got Stephen from a walk on the wild side, Blackpool. Do you know what? It's it's strange when you actually meet people on yeah. camera, isn't it? Indeed, you're a lot bigger than I thought you were. In fact, um, my glasses are steaming up. I'm, at, uh, I'm really, really warm after running to meet Lee here. I, was, I thought I was going to be late. I didn't want to upset you. So I was hey, really, you know, I'm all, I'm all, Do you know where we're going this morning? Come in a bit, come in a bit, come in a bit. Do you know where we're going this morning? Well, I think we're going to go for breakfast somewhere. Is that right? Yeah. We are going to go for breakfast because if you've seen my channel, it's either breakfast or, uh, it's either breakfast or fish and chips. Well, I'm in the right place. Now, I've actually looked everywhere in Blackpool, everywhere for the best full English breakfast. And nobody can tell me. I've even, I've reached out to everybody in Blackpool, but I found one myself anyway. Yeah. And it's called the Compass Cafe, I believe. And it's supposed to be nice. Have you heard of it or? You know, I think I've been past it a few times, but uh, to be honest, um, I don't know a lot about it. So I think, it'll, I think it's going to be pretty good. Well, we're going to mark it out of 10. You guys are going to mark it out of 10 as well on looks and on price, etc. On an, and on our facial expressions, like oh, if we, you, you know, if we go, mmm, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. I've seen pictures of it as well. We're at the South Pier. We're going to take a walk up. That's north, isn't it? That way. It is, yeah, that way. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Brilliant. Do you know what? I've got to say, by the way, before we go any further, this guy, if you don't know who he is, then where have you been? I mean, if I mean, this guy is Blackpool. So make sure you subscribe to this guy's channel because he is a local legend. I can't believe it. Link in the description down below. Link up here and on the end and you're everywhere. Walk on the wild side Blackpool. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, I'm ready. I'm, I'm excited. Let's go. Right, okay, now then, I've got to come in, I've got some questions, I've got some questions. Now then, you know I like my fish and chips. In fact, I love my fish and chips. In fact, I have that many fish and chips, I'll probably be battered at the end of my life. There we go, so, you know, but anyway, Blackpool has a lot of different fish and chip places and everybody has their own favorite fish and chips. Now, I was gonna ask you, what was the best fish and chip shop in Blackpool? However, because you are, here in Blackpool and you live here, that would be unfair. So what I'm going to say is, what's your favourite fish and chip shop in Blackpool? Well, yeah, that is a really, really tough question. But when it comes to the best chip, when it comes to my favourite chip, I'm going to give a mention to Raffles, who are on the corner of Ansdell Road and Cornwall Road. It's a little chippy off the beaten track here in Blackpool. But I love the couple that run it. And if you get a chance to visit Blackpool, be sure to visit Raffles Chippy. Raffles Chippy? Is it far from the tower or...? It's, um, it's in the South Shore area. Okay. And there are a lovely couple that run it and I just thought I'd give them a mention. Brilliant. Raffles then? I might have to try that one myself. Yeah. That's all right. So Raffles is your favourite go-to chippy? I go to the most, yeah. Excellent. One other quick question. Years and years ago, I used to come here with my ex-wife and my two uh, elder children and we used to go to, uh, we used to walk by, didn't take them in the pub because I was a responsible adult, by the way, but we did have a little drink outside Yates's and it's gone. What's the what's the story behind that? Is it going to come back or is there nothing yet? Yeah, Yates is here behind us. Yeah, it's, uh, it unfortunately closed down. We all moved out last year. And there was a story about uh, another landlord taking it over, but unfortunately, um, I don't think that's happened. I think that was just a rumor. So it doesn't look like anything's going to be happening with it. 
uh, at the moment because the climate is not so great, is it? So, uh, no. Um, hopefully, someone will take it on or maybe repurpose it or something like that. We'll just have to wait and see. I've got a brilliant idea, actually. Maybe you should take it over and rename it A Walk on the Wild Side. What do you reckon to that, my friends? Pop it in the comment section down below. Anyway, I'm hungry and I need a coffee. We need we need a full yeah. English. Are you into full English breakfast? I love a full English. Excellent. And also, by the way, we've got to go into do the thumbnail. You've seen the daft thumbnails that I do where I go, ooh, we'll probably do something like that. Anyway, come on, onwards. Right now then, my friends, I've mentioned many a time on my vlog about Alan Bradley and his tram where he runs in front and goes, Rita! Come back, you stupid bitch! <laughs> You've seen the scene, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And I just spoke to you about it, and you were part of the restoration of that project, or you had something to do with it? Yeah, I, I gave the, the appeal to bring the tram back because the tram was actually in a boneyard up in Fleetwood. It's Tram 710, a balloon tram, a double-decker. And it was in the boneyard in Fleetwood, and they said, oh, they want to bring it back to Tram Town, where the old tram depot is, where they keep all the heritage trams. And I mentioned it on the video, and I put a link to the GoFundMe that they had to raise the funds to bring it back. And after my video, they smashed the target and they ended up bringing it back to Tramtown, where they can now restore it. Oh, fantastic. I, I, I love that. I, that. That was amazing for me. Amazing times and great times. Head over, though, and have a look at the video. So you've done a whole video on that. I did a video mentioning it, and I also uh, visited Tramtown to have a look at all the plans they've got for the future, which is pretty amazing. If you love Blackpool, and I've said it before, and you don't know who this guy is, where have you been? I mean, you can't like Blackpool that much. This guy is Mr. Blackpool. Make sure you subscribe to his channel, and don't forget the links at the end and down below. One other question as well. Behind us, we've got St. Chad's Hotel, which is a very, very famous hotel here in Blackpool. What's happening with it? Yeah, that's uh, St. Chad's Terrace. It was built in 19, uh, sorry, 1891, and... Um, it's going to be knocked down. They're going to knock it down. The whole building there is due to be demolished, uh, possibly next month or starting next month, and they're going to build a whole new hotel there. Yeah, a whole spanking new hotel there. Wow, brand new hotel. That's great for Blackpool. See, things are on the up, things are on the move, and things are getting better. So come on. This is not getting us our breakfast though, is it? Come on, onwards. <laughs> Right, we will get there eventually, don't worry. However, a little bit of history. Apparently, well, tell us this is where Blackpool got its name well, from. Well, we're very close to Manchester Square at the moment, and uh, this is actually where Blackpool got its name from, yeah. Because here is where Spen Dyke used to run into the sea. And back then it was all kind of wild coastline, and it formed like a pool. And it was a very black pool, a peaty pool from the dikes. And they called it the Black Pool. And that name was first registered in 1602 at the Bispam Parish Church. So that's where Blackpool got its name. Fantastic. You see, this guy, we, go and subscribe to him. I mean, if you want to see full English breakfast, fish and chips and uh, bent sausages, have a look at me. But if you want to see Blackpool, see this guy. Come on, I need coffee. <laughs> Right, don't worry, we will get there because this is more interesting than eating uh, bent sausage and some uh, eggs. We've got the Fox Hall behind us. Tell us a little bit of, a, a bit of history about that. Yeah, well, this is quite historic here in Blackpool. We've got the Fox Hall pub behind us. Now, that building is on the site of one of the, well, the oldest substantial building that was ever built in Blackpool. It was called the Fox Hall and it was built by Edward Tilsley, who was from the county of Myersco, out uh, near Garstan Way. And it was like a holiday home back then. It was built in sorry, it was built in 1675 when all this was wild coastline. The holiday home built right here, the Fox Hall. And Tilsley Road behind here was named after the family. Well, I mean, a couple of other questions as well. Now you'll like these questions. When I came here, I came here on my honeymoon with my, with my ex-wife, I'm still very good friends with, and we went to a place which was, it was 
it was like walking down the cobbles of Coronation Street inside this building that was built and it was like a museum but it looked like Coronation Street. What's yeah. happened to that? I think that must have been the Coronation Street experience. Uh, that was at the Sandcastle. Yeah. The Sandcastle was built in 1986 and that's the inside water park. And next, in, in the same building, they've now got a casino there, which is the Grosner Casino, I think it's called. And that was once the Coronation Street experience. Ah, so that's where it was. And also as well, because I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, Tom Baker was my favourite Doctor. He had a Doctor Who museum here as well, with all the memorabilia. And I think the original car, which was, was it Bessie or something, the original car? What's happened to that? I think the Doctor Who exhibition was just opposite the Central Pier, just up here. And I do remember it, yeah, we used to go in there and they had like a TARDIS outside. That's it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Do you know what? I love Blackpool and it just brings back all these memories. And I've said it before, you know, with the sounds, the smells, the sights and everything from when I was a kid, because I used to live up at the Lake District a lot of the time and uh, we used to go to Morecambe. My mum and dad used to take me to Morecambe, which was like the, it was the, it was the, smaller version of Blackpool at the time wasn't it but but you know then I go come on I want to go to Blackpool I want to go to Blackpool anyway I'm hungry are you hungry I am yeah. I'm sorry to keep you but I'm sorry to keep you it's just interesting I'm trying to get all the information because I love Blackpool come on Right, Nicky Nocky New. That's uh, Les Dawson, that was, wasn't it, I believe? That did fit before my time, that, I think. Les Dawson. How, well, I'm not going to ask you how old you are on camera. However, I'm 52 and uh, uh, I'm, I'm getting on a little bit and I remember that. Uh, anyway, we're on the comedy carpet here, which I've just said, for me, is my favourite part of Blackpool because it literally does make the, the hair stand up on the back of my neck with all the different names that you go through, sometimes gone by. You know, you've got Laurel and Hardy on there. You've, you've got everybody on there. You, from, I don't know what, Cannon and Ball. Yeah, you know, everybody all, that you can think about from the older days, yeah. From the, the 80s. The, the comedy carpet was, I think it was opened in 2011, and I think it's one of the best things that's happened to Blackpool in the last couple of decades, because they made this fantastic headline here where they stood in front of the tower, and they put this comedy carpet down with all these amazing quotes on it from, from the comedians of the past and uh, it's a great place for people to congregate and meet up and to meet up. I could spend all day here literally just going through it and it does bring back memories of my mum and dad for times gone by. It's great and I tell you what, if you want a really really good overhead view of it, you can actually see it from the top of Blackpool Tower which is right behind us there. Which incidentally, I've just asked Stephen, I said, when was the last time you went to Blackpool Tower and it was? Um, about 42 years ago. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago. Yeah, it's a funny question, really. Why have I not been up Blackpool Tower? And to be honest, I, I don't, can't really don't do it. I just haven't been up it. It's just, just a, it's one of, really the, it's one of them things when I lived in New York, not it, so long. people used to go, oh, have you, I bet you go up to the Empire State all the time. Well, not really. I could see it from a bedroom window, but I didn't unless people came over and I'd, I'd take them over there and stuff. I guess that's what it is. So we need to get, we need to get him at the top of Blackpool Tower on his channel. Special one there. There we go. Anyway, this, we, I'm st it's going to be dinner time by the, lunch time by the, lunch or dinner? What do we call it it's up here? It's going to be dinner now, isn't it? It's going to be dinner, yeah. We've got lunch, dinner, tea, whatever. Come on, onwards. <laughs> Hang on, here we go. We don't want to do a, we don't want to do an Alan Bradley. Rita! <laughs> so Stephen was just saying, a lot of people need to look upwards in Blackpool. Because like, you'll see Starbucks, but as you've just said, that was the Liberal Club. Just above the Starbucks is what we've got the Liberal Club there. Yeah, it's amazing what you see, these old buildings in the Blackpool town centre, yeah. So don't just look street level, look upwards as well. And just look at the architecture. Fantastic. <laughs> 
Right now, just wait there one second because Stephen reckons that this is one of the best restaurants in the town centre. Yeah, it's called Bank. Bank. Bank here on Corporation Street where all the buses come. And uh, yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've been in myself a few years ago and it's really, really good. I might have to try that. If you've been, pop it in the comment section down below. I'm guessing it was a bank. In fact, yeah, it's, well, it's next to a Lloyd's Bank anyway, but yeah. There's a lot of banks here in Blackhall Town Centre. And some of them have been repurposed. If you look around, you'll see some of the old banks. There you go. Come on, onwards. <laughs> Right, here we are, Compass Cafe. You've got to bend down a little bit. <laughs> bend down a little bit, that's I'm it. In, I'm in, not it look, my head off. <laughs> it look, looks cooler when you bend down. <laughs> I mean, I don't look cool, but there we go. Anyway, Compass Cafe Bar, it's supposed to be very healthy as well. They do a lot of healthy food. However, I'm not going healthy today, because uh, I'm going to go in for the full English breakfast. Yeah. Now then, well. quick question for you. Does a hash brown belong in a full English breakfast? I say yes. Okay, quick fire question, here we go. Okay, eggs. Do you like them uh, yellow yolk or glazed over the top? Uh, yellow. Yellow? Yellow. yellow, yellow. Ooh, there we go, he likes a Haribo egg. Uh, sausages, catering or butchers? Oh, butchers, I think. There we go. And then uh, also, fried bread, yes or no? If there's fried bread there, I'll be having it. <laughs> That's it, there we go, come on, onwards. Right, my friends, here we are inside the Compass Cafe Bar. Now, believe it or not, they actually have live bands here on an evening as well. Uh, so, uh, as you saw in the B-roll there, there was uh, uh, pictures of bands, etc. But they play live, so they do live, it's a live venue. And they serve alcoholic beverages as well. However, a little bit too early for me at the moment, although it is always five o'clock somewhere. Now then, have you worked up an appetite with all that walking? I certainly have. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, because I'm going to go for now then. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, ooh, do you know what? I like the look of this. I like something always that's a little bit different. I like our famous Compass Classic breakfast in a pan. Three bacon, two sausages, two eggs, mushrooms, beans, tomato, two ash browns, toast and signature fried bread. Ah, there you go. You see, great minds think alike because that's exactly what I wanted. Th that's it then. We're going to have two uh, breakfasts in a pan and I'm going to go for it. Now then, another question for you. Quick fire question. With a breakfast, tea or coffee? Coffee. Ooh. Yeah, nah, that controversial. I would say tea. However, I can't I can't function in the morning without a coffee, so... Listen, for me, it's coffee in the morning and tea the rest of the day. That's so I'm it. more of a tea drinker, but in the morning, it has to be a coffee. It has to be a coffee. Yeah. Going to go, now, latte or a regular coffee? It's just a normal coffee. Just a normal coffee. Yeah. See, yeah. I, I, coffee. <laughs> I've, I've got to go with a latte. Anyway, we're going to have two breakfasts in a pan, which I've never had before, so I'm looking forward to this. Right, I've got to tell you, I'm going to tuck my tassels away here. Stephen's already started, because uh, 
I tell you what, I've got to say before we start, this is one of the best looking breakfasts I've ever had. First of all, we've got proper sausages on there. The eggs are done to perfection, glazed over the top. They did also ask whether we wanted um, tin tomatoes or a fresh tomato, so you have a choice of that as well. We've got fried bread under there as well. It's absolutely spot on, it looks fantastic. I mean, just take a closer look, my friends. Right, so we've got HP, you got ketchup. None of them packets, them packets do my head in. Oh, yeah, they do my head a little bit, yeah, yeah. Right, so I'll have these bendy sausages, bro. Yeah, look, <laughs> it's a proper Grange Hill sausage, that is. Just look at that. There you go, look at that. Hey, you can't get better than that. This is one of the best breakfasts I've had in a long while. Uh, have I, got, I don't think I've got a fork. No, I've, I've, I'm using my fork, I'm that excited. Um, we've got beans in a ramek in there as well to separate them from the tomatoes. But this is fantastic. I'm going to have a little bit of HP sauce, which originated in Nottingham. I've said that before. It was uh, invented by a butcher in Nottingham. So I would ask ketchup or brown sauce, but you've already gone for brown. So that's answered that question. I'll pop that over there. Um, we've got the hash browns there. We've got the tomatoes. First things first, I'm going to cut into the, uh, to this bent sausage. And I tell you what, there's nothing more that does my head in really than a catering sausage. And this is a proper, just look at that. It's a proper sausage. That is what you want. You don't want any of them catering sausages. No. Oh, wow. Oh. Mmm, hot. <laughs> Very hot. Yeah. The mushrooms are also very nice as well. The mushrooms are nice as well. I love Excellent. the mushrooms. Is everything all right, Fibo? Is it all good? Amazing. That's great. Thank you. Proper. Cheers. Mm. Wow. And look at these eggs. Right. Closing on the eggs, I'm going to break the yolk. Look at this. Wow. Right, that is perfect. Those eggs are absolutely perfect. Going to go in for the beans, which are a good consistency. Then, now, I would, I'd hazard a guess that they're Heinz beans, but I could be wrong. I've known to be wrong with beans before um, when put in that position. Um, anyway, we've also got um, tin tomatoes here, which my favourite tin tomatoes. I like the tomatoes as well, the fried tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, you've got fried, to you've got fried tomatoes there as well. Look at that, yeah. You, you've gone different, that's it. So you, you've got the choice. Got the fried bread, got the egg on the fried bread there as well. Uh, two slices of, well, slice of fried bread there. Fantastic, look at that. Wow. Are you ready to eat it? That is amazing. Bacon, not too much, well, no fat on the bacon, really. Look at that. A little bit, little bit of fat, but my dad used to love the fat. There we go. That, what for me though, those sausages are fantastic. I'm going to go in for the bacon. It's perfect. Everything about this. I'm going to go in for the hash brown. Ah. Oh. Crispy outer, soft inner. Now, Stephen said the mushrooms are nice. I prefer these type of mushrooms to the big, pretentious portobello mushroom that I put on it. These are what I prefer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to eat this now and then come back to you. But just look at that. Look at the bend in that sausage. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see you guys in a minute, but wow. Proper Grain Jill sausage, look at this. There you go, look, watch. <laughs> a 
Look at this! It's nearly, it's nearly finished! An empty pan. I'm still going because I've had to film at different angles but I'll tell you what, this is fantastic, I love it. Everything about it, I mean really, really. Yeah, you, you, I would say you've got a clean plate but you've got a clean pan there. That, that um, tells you everything doesn't it? It tells you everything. This is fantastic, I'm loving it. Everything about it. We'll sum this up outside because I, I, I'm not filming any more angles now. You know, I should just eat it now and get on with it, otherwise it'll get cold. It's brilliant, I'm loving it. In fact, I've got something to tell you about this breakfast that you're not going to believe. It's just, wow. I'll see you outside. Mm. Right, I'm going to tell you straight off, right? Yeah. That was the best breakfast. It was I've, just awesome, wasn't it? I've ever had. It yeah. was fantastic. The quality of the sausage was fantastic. Come down here a bit, look. You're a bit, you're a bit high oh, there. There we go. Um, the quality of the sausage was fantastic. The bacon was excellent. It's all from local butchers, by the way. So they were proper sausages. You got a choice between tin tomatoes and normal, to uh, like a fried tomato. You got a choice of black pudding. If you wanted black pudding, you could add black pudding before anybody says that. You've got fried bread on there. It was fantastic. Now, cost-wise, it was. Here's a copy of the receipt. It came to £24.30. and uh, As I say, they play live music as well. That included the flat white and the latte there as well. Um, it was brilliant. For me, it's a 10 plus. Highly recommend it. I'm going to say, I had a breakfast in Scotland the other week that was excellent. This supersedes that because of the sausage, the quality of the sausage on that. There's nothing better than a butcher's sausage. And the bend in that sausage, I mean, you've got to love a bent sausage. Anyway, it was fantastic. For me, 10 plus. What about yourself? I would say the same as well. In a pan as well. That's quite original, isn't it? To get breakfast in a pan. It is a little bit, yeah. I think about that before. Yeah, I love it. For me, 10 plus, I'm going to say best breakfast that I've ever had in, in, in the history of this channel. Supersedes the one in Scotland. It was fantastic. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you head over to this guy's channel, A Walk on the Wild Side, um, and subscribe to him. Link will be at the end in the description down below and also up there as well. Did they pull a face behind us when they walk by? I don't know, some people do. Anyway, there we go. Subscribe to this guy. And if you love Blackpool, then you've probably already, you probably already are, because you are Mr. Blackpool. That's what <laughs> you should have an OBE or an MBE for what you've done well, with Blackpool. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're watching, Charles, give him an OBE. Anyway, on that bombshell, my friends, I'll we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for uh, appearing in the video, uh, by the way. Thanks very much for asking me to be on one of your videos. I'm really, really honoured. More than welcome. I'm honoured to have you here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. It didn't say it was going to rain. It's going to be nice tomorrow, though. Bye-bye. Oh!